Man, this place is a labyrinth. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be here at night. So what, what's the deal? This was like a legit Nazi hideout after World War II? That's the deal, yes. Wow. Legit. <laughs> this place is wild. This map sucks. It's like a treasure map from Mad Magazine or something. Okay, I know it's a bit early in the morning for Nazis, but we're supposed to lead with a strong hook, so there you have it. Plotting our course on Chad's treasure map, we departed our camp on Rio Agrio and continued north on Route to 40 into the desert. Stopping only occasionally to pay homage to Gauchito Gil, or ponder Argentina's unique tradition of memorializing highway fatalities with yellow stars. Onward to Chos Malal, and the only gas station on this remote 500 kilometer stretch of highway we quickly discovered what was already scheduled to be a long day was about to get longer. It's gonna take us like a fucking hour to get gas. The line's around the corner. We can't afford an hour. Yeah, well, we can't afford not to get gas either. I think this is the only station in town, so. Waiting in line for gas is just part of life in Argentina. Good to be here for a while. Fueled up, back on the road, and another 100 kilometers down, we found a shady spot to dump our six liter reserve, sure to pack as much gas as humanly possible when and where we could find it. And soon found ourselves crossing Rio Barrancas into Provincia de Mendoza, stopping to slap a sticker and snap a few pictures we celebrated before inching closer and closer to the good stuff. When just past the oasis, that is Laguna Lauquen, the asphalt turned to gravel, dirt, and sand for 106 glorious kilometers, one of the few remaining untamed sections of Argentina's Ruta 40.
seeking reprieve from the dust and blistering heat, we attempted to make the banks of the Rio Grande, but the sand, baby heads, and mere notion of having to once again extract ourselves under a merciless sun made us rethink that decision. So we scurried back to the road and settled for a view from above. After searching for a place to mark our territory at the rock pile, we mounted back up and continued the long, dusty ride north. Reaching the precipice of progress and the end of the Ripio, we didn't begrudge the smooth relief of tarmac, especially after a bit of fun on Cuesta del Chihuido. After a couple of passes and taking the drone out for a quick spin, we hit the municipal campground in Millard, our last stop before the ride to the remote Termas del Sosneado, aka the Nazi Hotel. Having departed Las Lajas, crossed the provincial line of Mendoza and the badlands of Monte Desert. We settled in Malarg before the final bit of pavement to El Sosneado. From here, we'll follow Provincial Road 220, 62 kilometers along the shores of the Atuel River, here, to the hot springs and ruins of Hotel Sosneado.
hair is beautiful out here. You're amazing. Oof. The hotel in Hot Springs officially opened in 1938 to great publicity and fanfare, but would close a mere 15 years later amongst rampant rumor and speculation. At the time it was abandoned in 1953, the hotel was widely considered a stronghold and hideout for Nazis who had fled to Argentina in the aftermath of World War II. A few caretakers did their best to maintain the facilities into the late 50s before it was abandoned altogether and fell into ruins. Today, it is nothing more than a weekend destination for locals, a check mark for overlanders, and occasionally the base camp for excursions to the famous 1972 Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571 crash site, 21 kilometers from this location. The crash victims, members of a rugby team from Montevideo, Uruguay, resorted to cannibalism in order to survive. After a tour of the ruins, we retreated to the hot springs, kept lukewarm by the nearby Oveto volcano, to soothe our weary bones after two days of some of the best riding yet, before getting back on the bike and doing it all over again. I was not expecting any of this. This is uh, this is way sportier than uh, Los 73. It's uh, really uh, deep and loose in sections. <coughs> Go on. Uh -uh. <laughs> Go on. It's really deep and loose. Your mom's deep and loose. <laughs> Don't act like. Don't put that on me. <laughs> I was just cutting you off at the pass because I knew it was coming. Uh, I don't think those other two dudes on bikes are going to make it. They're dead. No, there's no way. <laughs> Man, this is not the place you want to crash. This is We're like just on this side of hell. It's like 100 degrees out. It's remote. It's desolate. It's nasty. It's dirty. It's dusty. Did I mention it's hotter than hell out? How's your nose? Did I mention? I don't know. Did I get it all? <laughs> yeah. I got like a third degree sunburn on my nose. Did I mention that it's loose and it's deep? <laughs> uh uh. No, no, no. No, I didn't mention that. 